Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Auditor of Armorcraft. So we're making good progress, episode 5, and we already have animals. Got two horses, a llama, but now we're kind of running low on uh, logs, and also clay is running out, so we need to restock on some essentials first before we can move on. Also, the charcoal making last time did not work, so there was some smoke, but the lack of the big whoosh in the beginning definitely indicated something was wrong. So after the smoke was gone, yeah, I just had normal logs in there, and I just tried it again. This time I actually started the fire, if the fire started instead of the torch, maybe that made a difference, but this time it definitely works. Alright, so I'm just gonna head out, get a bit of clay, although we actually have, you know, the flowers indicate that here right next to the yeah, home base is clay already. Maybe we'll just get it from here and then of course we gotta chop some trees again. This is definitely a satisfying sound, I like this. Okay, 34 more charcoal. It's not a lot, but should be enough for the next project. So I decided to go out and exploring a little bit, and here I found something really interesting. The cupboard lock again. We had, we had a couple of, a lot of those around where we spawned in. This looks like something that would give you a lot of locks if you try to chop it down. And just not sure how to get saplings. So the way you get saplings is you use your scythe on the leaves. So like this, you can try it with the smaller tree. And it drops a lot of sticks, of course. There's also a sapling. So usually you can get like two saplings. There's some, yeah, we got two as well from one tree. But here with those uh, jungle tree looking cupboard trees, you would need to get up there somehow. And unlike in vanilla, you can't stand on leaves. You would just fall through them, as you can see here. They slow you down a little bit, but you can't stand on them. So this would be a bit tedious, I feel like. So we're about 900 meters away from home. Mm, one that I always feel bad about just ravaging a forest, but since we're still early game, might be okay to take some out. Let's see. Oh, this drops a lot of logs. <laughs> so you got almost three stacks. From one tree, it does are really good if only we could get saplings. Um, I just can't reach up there. So we would need to pillar up every time and that would, of course, um, yeah, break the whole advantage we get from those trees. So I'm just gonna, yeah, for early game, I think I'm just gonna take a couple of those. Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, this is really jackpot here. Inventory already full. Oh my god. I think you can also not put those in a vessel in safe space somehow, no. So we would need to come here with a more empty inventory. One thing I could actually try is to make a ladder to get up there. Try to break some leaves. Let's see. It's definitely also a lot of leaves. But does it drop saplings? I think I've seen it that certain trees actually don't drop any saplings. Only sticks on the ground. Ah, interesting. So I quickly rode back. If the horse is really no problem, do it quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna place it on a couple logs here. What's also a bit relevant is how the planks of the cupboard log actually look like. So... Let's see, it's gonna be purple. Oh, it's a bit more pink. That's actually a really odd color for building. Ooh. <laughs> so I really like the sycamore tree planks and chests and so on. We got from the trees that are around here. Um, got a couple blanks. It's more uh, saturated yellow. Those are planks I actually want to build my house with. So I guess we're just going to use the cupboard logs for charcoal and then use the sycamore logs for general like chest crafting and barrel crafting and so on. I think also the, the barrel would look quite odd with the cupboard logs. Let's actually make one. Curious. Hmm. 
I mean, this one I kind of like. Maybe let's keep some around for building. <laughs> Could use those here and there, but um, I think I'm just gonna ride back to the forest and make my charcoal over there. So the way things work in this game is actually not like in vanilla Minecraft, where a lot of it is actually random based, random tick based. Here, everything is like, yeah, what should we call it event based or scheduled based. Like for example, um, when I put stuff here into those barrels, it says eight minutes, but it actually gives you an a precise date when it's done. The same goes for the crops and so on. So you don't need to be next to them for them to grow. It's a bit different from vanilla. So we can also just ride over there, chop down a lot of trees, make a lot of charcoal, and then come back later and pick it up. So that's probably the best way of doing things. Yeah, I'm just gonna place those down here. They can also be used in case we need them for any like yeah, crafting recipe or for example for the toolbox we need a chest later uh, then we can use those locks but yeah let's ride back there and make some charcoal i was just on my way back to get a bit more water and i came across some uh, gold pebbles here on the ground this might actually be a better spot than the one we found at the beach because there's probably fewer water caves and stuff below so i guess this would be preferable the prospector pick tells me that it doesn't find anything here. So we probably have to dig down further a little bit. But I'm definitely gonna mark a spot here. Do not lose it again. God, it's actually a fox. Not entirely sure what those guys do. Probably just a wild animal. Okay, so let's try to get out of here. Also found something really interesting. There's a liana. And you can climb, climb it up like, yeah, a hanging vine. So this is something we should maybe also try to pick up. Oh, there's another gold pebble down there. Let's see what the prospector picks is. Again, found nothing. Okay. Um, looks like it's the only Liana. Can I actually get some of those? Mm. Doesn't look like it. Okay, now I destroyed my way. Pick up was the only thing. But it would be cool if you could get those. I think it was just silly, I was using the prospector pick to mine stuff. Of course it wouldn't drop anything, but if the scythe, yeah, definitely get better results. Okay, a liana. Um, I only got one. Let's put that in a vessel, and there's still one left. You can maybe just come back later and see if it grew again. But I'm curious if we can actually attach it on the underside of blocks as well. You would definitely need some bone meal. So if this works anything like those hanging vines and vanilla, this would be kind of nice in case we've got a ravine like that. We can just climb down and back up without bringing ladders all the time. We would need to bring bone meal though. So I actually got curious because I found the, the gold pebble there on the ground and dove down here and used the prospector pick yeah, a lot lower. It actually says there's a very large sample of native gold. So basically jackpot. The only downside is it's underwater and it's always so annoying to mine. Um, we can make little yeah, water pockets at least. Oh, there's another liana. Then we can actually try it. Oh yeah, so you can just place them down. Sweet. Yeah, so what you can actually do is make water pockets with doors. Those don't waterlock and try to go from there. Uh, can come back to this later, but now I'm gonna make more charcoal, that's what I actually came for. So I actually just remembered that the drop rate of jungle saplings in the vanilla game is lower, they need to break 40 leaves to get one sapling. So I kept trying, seems like we were just really unlucky, I actually managed to get one. But only one so far. So some of the leaves are kinda reachable from here. But it looks like the drop rate is definitely lower than one per 40. Okay, but at least there's another one. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely can bring some home. We could maybe try to make a yeah, better setup to reach the top of the tree and see if it's actually yeah, viable. Oh, there's actually a liana we can climb up. If it's actually viable. Get those trees. And the problem is really you can't stand on the leaves. Okay, we can do this. Yeah, but climbing up there each time. Another sapling dropped. Just got really unlucky, it seems like, in the first attempt. There we go. Yeah, climbing up here every time is probably not really worth it. But I said it's early game, just gonna take out a couple here. Oh, there's actually a chicken. 
totally forgot to bring some leads in case we run into interesting animals. But there's a female chicken. We maybe just get that lead real quick. Oh, you can't leash a chicken. Okay. Maybe if it stops it for a while. Just want to trap it somehow. Let's dig below. Oh, we get a boat again. We have a lot of logs around here. Let's just make a boat to trap the chicken. Okay, the chicken got trapped. I just want to show you another thing. We didn't have this problem before. We have a ton of sticks. You can also compact them into a stick bunch. This takes up yeah, way less inventory space. And what you can additionally do, take two of those, so like 18 sticks in total, you can make a stick bundle log. That's also something that can be turned into charcoal. So it's also worth it to pick up the sticks yeah, to make even more. Okay, what I totally forgot about it, that's, that those copper axes also don't last very long. Durability only 600. I think iron and steel later, there we are at around 2000 already. Yeah, so those last only a short amount of time and a couple of trees. This one is about to break. So I made a way larger charcoal pit. Then I have actually durability for maybe we can chop down one more. You by the way can't repair any tools in this. So there's really no point keeping them. In case you really don't need them anymore, you can smelt them down. In this case, yeah, for the remaining durability. Three millibuckets of copper. That's not something <laughs> you should waste time on. Um I think I'm just gonna actually throw it out because if I start chopping another tree, it will be half broken only. Doesn't really help, so I'm gonna place down the yeah, last of those locks. Got a really good amount. And then we can cover this with dirt again. Um, yeah, we can just take those and place it right next to the chocolate pit. Okay, pick them up like this. There we go. I got plenty of dirt left from earlier. So let's see if we get the big whoosh this time. I'm gonna use the fire starter again. Yes. So that means it's working. Okay. Yep. Yeah. The locks are just placed on here in case we come back there maybe with two or three copper axes or once we actually need it. Uh, yeah, an upgraded tool already. So the next tier of tools would be advancing from the Bronze Age to the, no, sorry, from the Copper Age to the Bronze Age. <laughs> already spoiled it. So there's actually multiple ways to get there because there's different types of bronze we can make. So there's Black Bronze, Bismuth Bronze, and just Bronze. Um, look at the molten stuff here. So it shows you the type of things we need. So for normal Bronze, we need like 90% Copper. And one uh, and 10% tin, which is cassiterite. I haven't found it yet. It's actually the simplest recipe. Black bronze requires actually three. You would need gold, which we hopefully have a source of. Silver, I haven't found that yet. And copper and bismuth bronze is bismuth, which we have a little bit of. Copper plus zinc. What is that even called? I think garnierite was nickel. I would actually need to look this up. Sphalerite. Also, I haven't found that yet. Okay, next I'll try out the bellows. So I heated up some of the unfired molds again to yellow-white. This is the maximum of the charcoal. Now we can use the bellows and then you can see the temperature raises even higher. And this immediately turns into fired molds. Okay, can we already put them in there? Yep. Perfect. Already got some copper. So I'm making two more pickaxes just in case two more axes and I also want to make a hoe because it's already March 7th, early spring. I'm gonna plant some of the saplings or seeds. Okay, five more tools. Now we actually have the problem that you can't put tools in a chest. So what are you gonna do there is to make racks. Just gonna make three. You can place those on the side yeah, of blocks. And then Hang your tools on the rack. Okay, just gonna put two more axes and the pickaxes away. Gonna need the hoe now, because we're gonna 
pick up oh my god so many saplings um not sure if we want to plant all of those already it's actually crazy amount so time to plant the seeds so just over here i so thought it would be a nice spot for some farmland so it doesn't work like in vanilla we had to be like four blocks within the range of a water block here it can also be a lot further away so we can see the hydration value at the top 44 percent and yeah, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, some minerals that the plants crave. Um, yeah, we can increase those values with the fertilizer. I actually saw that there's a water source here. I'm not entirely sure how much it would actually affect the farmland around it. Here we got actually got yeah, hydration 84%. But I know from playing last week that some seeds and plants um, don't like it that wet even. So we'll have to see. Can also maybe place some down. Let's maybe try the wheat seeds. Okay. Can also show you if the hydration and the temperature is in a good range. They're both is good. So actually see 44% hydration is still good. So I think pretty much got 44% hydration everywhere. So maybe just yeah, reserve that spot here. If you come across some seeds that needed oh there was actually a cave entrance below look what we got here creeper i haven't seen one of those in a while you can try to suffocate him with just dropping a bit of dirt oh, i think he already has enough now he's in a hole oh we can get him there we go Let's see if he actually drops some gunpowder yeah it does a bit surprising. Gunpowder. Okay, neat. Let's see what we can actually do with gunpowder in this. So, like in vanilla, you can make a fire charge with charcoal blaze powder. How can we get that? As far as I know, you can't get to the nether in this. Blaze. That will be hard to get, I guess. There's some vanilla recipes in there that you just can't get. Somehow we can craft gunpowder plus a cuckoo clock into a cuckoo clock <laughs> uh no idea what that is actually for tnt is also in this so you need a barrel red dye which you can get from yeah you know, the usual suspects poppies and so on i think i actually saw a dandelion or some vanilla flowers so that should be easy to get and gunpowder not too much effort okay what else oh another crafting recipe for the fire charge Without the blaze powder, then I guess vanilla TNT and rockets. No elytra in this, as far as I know, though. Also, no way to get to the end. So, there's already a good amount of farmland here. By the way, you can jump on this, so no trampling like in vanilla. But here, for some reason, I couldn't use the hole anymore until I saw the side of the blocks. That's actually peat. We can mine more of this for fuel, but. Inventory is already filled again. I should maybe get rid of some of the seeds. Let's see. Sugar cane. Do you like it here? Temperature and hydration. Good. Okay. Let's go to a spot for the sugar cane. I have over a stack of paper already. I don't even know if we need more of that. Then jute. That's actually a cotton plant. Yeah. Also likes it here. Place all of them down. The fertilizer or compost isn't ready yet, so I can't use it. Then more jute. Okay, so the corn. Hydration is too low. Okay, so here actually, yeah, already that, but you get the seed back. So here already have some stuff that needs to be planted near water. Okay. We might need to make some aqueducts later to spread it, but maybe there's actually yeah other rain seeds here. The oat is fine if it being drier. I guess it's actually preferable. Why would I bother with that stuff if we can just place more oat? Okay, so once we're out, we're just gonna focus on oat more. There was so much food around. We can actually be picky here. No beggars. Mm. Should I keep the water? There's, by the way, also more water here in the back. I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. Yep. 
see carrots. Yeah, also, most of those are actually fine with it being a bit drier. Let's see the potatoes. Hydration too low, over 50%. Yeah, okay. Then I focus on the carrots. So I planted all of my seeds over here. There's so much actually. So the plan is now to just yeah, complete this farmland square there. Uh, we need to dig away all of the peat there. It's actually quite a lot. And replace it with dirt. And yeah, I'm digging away some of the dirt over here to level it out so we have easy access without any jumping to get to the spot. Yeah, it's actually coming together. Before I forget it, I also still have those lemon saplings. So I was thinking, let's place those down a little bit further from base. As far as I know, we can also get more saplings if we just cut the branches later again. Maybe let's have uh, good old four blocks in between. Let's see how that goes. I think they also have some requirements like hydration, so that's fine. And the temperature is also good. This block could grow under the right conditions, maybe spliced. Okay. And the last one here. I also reached the highest level of familiarity of the animals, all at 35 now. So this can't be raised any higher, only baby animals can be brought to 100. But I'm not entirely sure what's the benefit of that. Okay, here it also says ready to shear, but I can't make shears yet. We would need an animal for this. So can maybe make this next episode. What we need for the shears are uh, yeah, two of those knife blades. A bit of flux, and then we need yeah one of those anvils. A copper anvil is the cheapest. We could already technically make it. It just requires quite some effort. Yeah, so here I got the knife blades, and also got a couple more shovel heads because there's a lot of digging to do. So I dug out the top layer of peat. I was also wondering how deep this goes. Looks like three layers deep. Not sure if we need peat that bad. Got plenty of that stuff now, and there's also a recipe to make it later. So we need to combine leaves and mud. It's not too hard once we got the machinery to get leaves and mud. I think I'm just gonna cover this up now with dirt. Okay, so really desperate for peat. I mean, there's also yeah, some other spots we can find it. Okay, plenty of space available now for further expansion. There yeah, also for the seeds here, so about half the farm, let's say, is used. In case we find more seeds later, we also know what to focus on. Definitely the ones here with hydration, 44%. So the corn and potatoes, if we really want to uh, plant them later, we also need to be careful to not uh, raise the hydration of this farmland. So we will probably want to do it in a, a separate place. We place some, some aqueducts later, but it's not like we really need that stuff. Uh, it seems like there's really no difference between a carrot and a potato. Um, so they're both in the, oh, got slowness and mining fatigue, gotta drink soon. Uh, so they're both in the vegetable group. So there's yeah, really no point diversifying any further. So it's nice that there's so many different crops in there. And the game also encourages you to eat different things. But it would get a bit too crazy if you know you need to eat a potato and then a carrot. And basically <laughs> rotates through 20 different food groups. Five is enough. Oh yeah, look at this. Ate way too much meat lately. Also got kinda low, ate most of the potatoes and carrots. One of the next things I actually wanna do in order to improve my diet a little bit is to get into sandwiches. Those are really good because you can combine grain, vegetables and protein in one dish, sandwich. But in order to make it, we need to uh, um, make a quern first to, gr to grind the grain into yeah, flour. And then we can combine it with water into dough. But in order to make the quern, we actually need two different types of raw stone. So any two different types, I think. Because if you would try it with the raw stone we have right here, then you would just get the crafting recipe for a wall. So... We already have you know, the raw death side now, just need to find any other stone type, and then we can make the quern and yeah, make bread and sandwiches. In the end, I also decided to actually place down the pumpkin seeds, so the conditions are really good for those. But I'm not sure how those work, if they're gonna grow a pumpkin to the side. So I definitely left some space here, because I was a bit worried they would destroy the other yeah, crops, maybe. 
And I'm also not really sure how the yeah the growing conditions are in terra firma craft for the crops in vanilla, having uh, the same type of seed diagonal from each other halves the growing speed. As far as I know, that's not a thing in terra firma craft. But yeah, here we got the, the pumpkin lined up, and also some of the sugar cane here is lined up versus some. That is placed closer together. I guess in the end we'll see if this actually has an effect. But as far as I know in Terraforma Croft it doesn't. And last thing I did today, I planted the bushes I found on my journeys. Those can actually provide you with fruit as well. Earlier I found some strawberries that were delicious of course. Okay, so that's all for the day. Next episode I want to go over to the gold vein I found underwater. I think this one will be a bit more difficult than the copper. That was actually super easy. No problem at all. And then yeah, we can hopefully get enough gold to craft a toolbox. I've been really interested in for a while. Because that's gonna be like yeah, basically like a Schalke box you can compare to that. Way better than the vessels. But as you can see, yeah, requires some gold sheet. That you also need an anvil for to, to craft it on. Um, so you need to make those gold double ingots on an anvil. Pretty sure we can also make the ingots. Those, yeah, I can just pour those into a mold. Yeah, that will work. Okay, so that will also help us the molten gold um, to make that black bronze. Then we would only need to find silver. All right, that's yeah all for today. As I said, thanks guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.